Ignorance is a form of oppression and education. Education is a tool for liberation. The borders of the, of the university are the borders of the state. That everybody in the state has a right to public education. You are the most important people on this campus. The administrators aren't as important, the faculty isn't as important, the staff isn't as important. They're here to serve you. And we do not want a corrupt administration or a corrupt leader like Chancellor Reed governing our future. So it's time to replace him with someone who respects and considers students. What do we do when our education is under attack? Stand up for that! What do we do when our future is under attack? Stand up for that! This fight is what kind of country are we going to live in. This is a fight to reshape society. And if it all goes according to their plan, there will be only two kinds of people. The rich and the damned. So if there's ever a time to fight, that time is now. Tax the rich! Tax the rich! Tax the rich! Power to the people! People power! All over campus, it's great to see so much solidarity on this campus to speak out against these budget cuts is a tax on public education. Have you found the budget cuts uh, impacting you? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> Having to work full time and going to school full time isn't easy. <laughs> right, how can you excel in your studies? Oh, it's really hard to find time to study. People expect change to happen in one day. Right, you're right, you're right. But it's not going to happen, and this is our first day. This is the beginning of our movement, so it just, hopefully it grows, you know, I think it's going to grow. Well, I think it's great that students are taking a stand against the budget cuts laid by the government. We know that they want to privatize education. They want to keep people of color out of the educational system. And have you felt the cuts in your department? Yeah, it's it's affecting me. I might like drop out, go to the community college. Your professor just got fired. He just got. He just told us today that. Um, next semester he wasn't teaching anymore. Wow. Uh, so the whole class was pretty disappointed because he's a really good professor. Every semester we pay a fee increase after fee increase after fee increase. And what happens? We come into the university and we still can't get classes. Our faculty are still being fired. So where is our money going? There's a man everybody should know. His name is Chancellor Reed. <laughs> is allocated. What has he been cutting? Has he been cutting his salary? No! He's been, he's been cutting classes and attacking the students and the faculty. Anymore. They got rid of all the music stands. Uh, they stopped hiring any companies for performers. As a graduate composition student, there's no. They got rid of graduate composition uh, classes. I was on track to graduate on time, but now there aren't enough classes offered, so I can't graduate on time. So I'll be here at least for five years instead of four. Hello, Dean Watkins. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fine. So you don't need to do that to me. Thank you. Um, I think last year's was a lot greater. Um, we had probably over 200 people here. Um, I think it's really sad that our students aren't coming out to support enough. <laughs> Chancellor Reed, he's the top, top guy. He gets a house allowance. He gets a car allowance on top of $450,000. Quite year. honestly, he can still live off of what he was getting in the very beginning. And does, he was this, in the beginning. position get voted on? No, we don't vote for him. It's one <laughs> time and it's a life position.
combined with all the other the SQEs on 14 other CSU campuses, the same thing is happening on 14 other campuses right now. We, the students at California State University, are taking action because Chancellor Reed consistently refuses to fight for CSU funding, and the funding he receives is used to enrich his administration and impoverish anyone else. We, we want this man's resignation. That's our top demand, Chancellor Reed's resignation. In this Board of Trustees, the individuals who sit in those meetings are corporate people. A lot of them aren't even like graduates of a CSU and they sit in these meetings making decisions for us. Right? So we want a, a Board of Trustees that's democratically run with students, faculty and staff that are present making decisions that affect us. We want full transparency for the CSU budget. So right now, if you go online and you try and research, you will not find how much or where your fees are going. They don't tell you. There's a reason for that. There's a reason they don't want you to know where your fees are going. It looks like we might be doubling the number of students here, maybe even more. Where did you guys all come from? Social activities. Ah, a class in social movements? Yep. You're in the right place. <laughs> what would you say to the people who passed by on campus who didn't come out today? They suck. What do we want from Chancellor Reed? His resignation. What do we want from Chancellor Reed? His resignation.